Is SpaceX, Starship, and NASA about to repeat a deadly mistake from the past? I believe they are. Allow me to explain In why. In 1986, the space shuttle Challenger exploded, costing the lives of all astronauts on board. I remember it vividly. I was in college in Chemistry 2 class, and I heard a student running down the hallway yelling, the shuttle exploded, the space shuttle exploded. My first thought was it was a prank, students being students. I soon learned otherwise. All of us were in disbelief. While the cause of the disaster, the O-rings, was a known issue from the past, I'd heard it had been addressed, but it had not, not at least properly. Then in 2003, the space shuttle Columbia broke up during its re-entry. All astronauts are lost on both of these missions. NASA formed the Columbia Accident Investigation Board, or CAB, which issued a report. Working at NASA, I read this report from beginning to end and took these lessons to heart. The board recognized early on that the accident was probably not an anomalous random event, but rather likely rooted to some degree in NASA's history and the human spaceflight program's culture. While the root cause of the disasters, the O-ring failure and the foam insulation striking the wing was found, the report also stated, quote, future crewed vehicle requirements should incorporate the knowledge gained from the Challenger and Columbia accidents in assessing the feasibility of vehicles that could ensure the crew survival even if the vehicle is destroyed. To that end, we now have the SpaceX Falcons launching the Dragon capsule and the SLS with the Orion capsule, both of which have emergency escape rockets to pull the crew safely away from the launch vehicle should it fail. This seems like common sense and a painful lesson learned from the shuttle disasters. So what is the fatal flaw with the SpaceX Starship? It has no way for the astronauts to escape a launch anomaly. Should the rocket fail during launch phase, the crew has no way to survive. That is a lesson lost. Once again, we're repeating the mistakes in the shuttle design. Once the Starship is operational, will we again need to watch astronauts die before we make the basic changes to ensure human life? Will NASA have to endure another embarrassing failure and possible cancellation of programs due to the inability to learn from the past? Only time will tell, but without a doubt, we will have another disaster and the nation will mourn the loss of some of the people who represent the best of us again. I think that SpaceX has done an incredible job with the Falcon 9, the Falcon Heavy, and even the Starship. But one of those rockets is a killer, and that's the Starship. There's been no accommodation made to ensure the safety of the astronauts on board other than what's built into the rocket itself. If that fails, there is no backup system. The space shuttle was deemed safe enough for human flight and didn't need the redundancy. That was a foolish mistake, and we're about to make another foolish mistake when astronauts are put on board this vehicle. When I see those videos of up to 100 people walking across the gangway entering the Starship, I think it's absurd. To kill that many people at once will be devastating. We should not be doing this. We need to launch people on vehicles that are safe for human flight and give them some chance, not if, when a rocket is destroyed during the launch phase of the mission. The SpaceX Starship is brilliant, but it's not safe enough for human beings. For cargo, fine. For humans, no. We need to ensure the safety of the people that are on board that spacecraft. Having a design where the redundancy built into it is deemed enough is foolhardy. You disagree with me? Leave a comment. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.